was a, a very challenging period, a very tough time, because at that time it was raining, and everybody was uh, measuring the performance of the government uh, with uh, building roads. And uh, we were explaining at that time that uh, it's impossible, almost impossible, for us to walk on roads when it was uh, raining. There is no government that can do anything without planning. All the time that people were saying that the government was not doing anything, the government was planning. And unfortunately, at that time, nature didn't permit us to do much. But you can see that after the rains, people are seeing that the roads are being fixed. Even the ones that people have lost upon, like that uh, agree Kishawa Road, the, 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 the contractors are there now. And uh, I tell you that's a multi-billion era project. And I have to do things that they are, we are doing about uh, education and housing. So many housing projects that were abandoned, that were not touched for a long time, we are going back there and doing them. I believe that when people see what this government is doing about, uh, is going to do about uh, health, about education, about infrastructure, and some of the things that we have talked about, nobody will tell them that uh, it's, a, it's a success. And I, I assure you that I have the confidence that it's going to succeed. In the meantime, one of the opposition parties in the state, the Action Democratic Party, does not agree with the Lagos state government's position on what might appear to be its defense as to why there has been slow momentum to gov governance in the state. The governorship candidate of the party in the 2019 election, Mr. Babatunde Badamosi, believes the Sawolo administration kicked off to a low start. He was also speaking to journalists in Lagos. It's too early to pass overall judgment. But one can take each segment and uh, based on key performance indicators, one can say, you know, this has not been achieved, that has not been achieved, so therefore, uh, at this stage, uh, it's still a zero. But I'll say that the safe point for this administration will be about 18 months. 18 months after uh, May 29, which will be December 2020, we can take a look again at what has been achieved and uh, we'll be certain then, it will be definitive, whatever my position is at that point, as to whether this is a successful administration or not. A lot could have been achieved that has not been achieved. I believe that um, if the governor were to roll up his sleeves now, a lot more can be achieved than he has done so far. But in terms of what is done so far, I'm afraid it's not enough.